Hello and welcome. This is Ruth and today I'm going to make a card for World Card Making Day and I'm sure lots of you will be doing the same but I'm going to give the instructions for this one in a tutorial here, show you all the different steps to doing it and hopefully some of you will want to uh, follow along with it and make it for yourself. So first of all I have got some dies picked out and I've gone ahead and done lots and lots of die cutting as you can see and I hope you like that colour palette. It just really tickled me when I was looking through all my card but today particularly I'm just looking through my card and my dies and stuff and feeling well feeling really really privileged that I can have access to all of this and that I can share it with you. There's so many different colours and so many different things there but um, I love finding new ways of putting colours together and I don't normally maybe some of you have used this before but I don't usually put these two colours together but I actually think it works quite well there. You can let me know in the comments down below what you think of that. Anyhow, I have picked out this die and this is actually my memory book Screened Flourish Layering Die Set. And it says on it here that it creates beautiful layers designed to perfectly fit your My Memory Book Keepsake Book Maker Base Creator, which is item 2278E. So obviously this die that's mentioned here, the die set, will make the memory book and then the one that I've chosen to work with today will actually make all the layers for that but I'm just going to remind you right now that you don't necessarily have to use all of the dies in the way that they're suggested on the packet because this one is really really beautiful for card making it doesn't just have to be used for a memory book although it's really beautiful in that as well so I love showing you how to get different ways to use your dies and not just restrict them to what's on the packaging so I hope you do enjoy what I'm going to do with this on the card there are seven dies in that set and you can you could actually even use that big one just to create a card itself but I'm going to use them the smaller ones from this one here inwards um, on a five by seven card but that would be beautiful on the memory book and also really really gorgeous on a scrapbook page as well and then I've chosen this one which is the luxurious leaves die set and this one here which says uh, it's a mini sentiment die and it says happy birthday now I'm just going to show you on this as well if you happen to have this one it's really really beautiful and looks really gorgeous in the greens and all sorts of things because that foliage is absolutely perfect but you can see there's lots of big dies there you don't have to use the whole die for something I've actually gone ahead and cut some of this out and you can see there I'll just show you this little bit up close I've actually just cut out the end of this one and then paper piece these back on so you while this is absolutely perfect for a bigger card or something like that, that again you don't have to be restricted by the size of this just to use it on big cards. Go ahead and sort of chop pieces off it and paper piece and whatnot and you can use that on really really tiny cards and gift tags and all sorts of things and I'm going to use it on here. And then this little sentiment die has a background and a, a die that goes right on top of it. So as I said I've got all of these cut out and we're going to start off with a five by seven card. I've chosen two different pearlescent cards to work with. So this one is Ivory Sheen and this one is uh, Coral Luster. And then I've brought in some Champagne Gold Mirror card as well, and then some white. So I wanted to leave quite a bit of white showing around the outside of the card. And I have then gone in here and as you can see, I've picked out this die for the background. And then I have used this one along with the next one to, to create a beautiful um, silvery gold layer here. I'm setting that one over because the reflection of it always um, just glares back into the camera there. So I have cut this piece here and that is six, sorry, 16 uh, in length, 16 centimeters, and it's 10 and a half across the way. And it just gives a really good sized little border area around that one and also is leaving me quite a bit of white there just as a foil as a background to show off the beautiful colours in the centre. If you have a little look back at the die set there you'll see that this pattern die here doesn't have any outside edge on it so I have used that one with the die with the dashed line outside it and um, right on the outside of that one and use those two together and that has cut me out this beautiful shape. Now I could have cut another one of these just exactly the same size in a different colour but because there are two of them here, this one's slightly bigger, I decided to go with the bigger one 
and then I'm going to lay that on top of here. So I've cut the bigger one out in the ivory sheen and that's going to be really, really beautiful just fitting on top of that champagne gold there. That champagne gold is a really, really beautiful colour of card because it's really, to me anyway, it's really neither silver nor gold, but it's a very, very classy looking colour. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue all that down first of all. I'll probably add this this layer onto here with some 3D foam pads and then I'll come back and add the sentiment and different things on there. You can see here I've added um, double sided tape around the outside because on pearlescent and mirror card I find no matter how finely you put the glue you'll always see just a little ripple on the top side of it and I don't want that so I'm going to add glue just a little bit in the centre and the same on this one as well and that will go on there and I know some people say you shouldn't do that you should be adding uh, glue onto that it holds far better and everything glue is absolutely fantastic this adhesive absolutely fantastic for construction things and things that you're going to pull apart but I have never I've made cards for years and years and years I've used this tape I've still got some of the cards here, I've given them to people over the years. I've never had any complaints or I've never found any that have come apart. So you don't need to worry about that. But if you do want a little of a little bit of extra security on it, just add a little bit of glue down the centre where you know that's going to be covered there. And then even on here because we're going to add the other layer on top of that. But that's just a little tip that I thought I would share with you on the way. Sometimes I go ahead and put colours and things on and don't really th think of explaining because it just comes second nature to me but um, I think today I'll take a little moment or two just to explain how I usually think about things as I'm putting, putting them together. So when I was making this one I always like to have a little border around the outside here because I do think that finishes off a card and makes it very professional looking. Um, it's uh, Totally different, a totally different look to just setting a die cut straight on top of a card. I think uh, just that little border around just gives it a finished look. That's my opinion. Now you may differ from that. In fact, I'd love it if you just tell me down in the comments if you do agree or if you prefer to have just a single layer. But in my mind, it's more finished if you can see a little extra layer on top. And then I've got these three colours that I'm using. So when I come to put the white one on, I could have just set that straight on top of the silver there or even backed it onto this coral but because I've got the ivory card in the back here I wanted to bring that in again because I do think that whenever you introduce a colour into a card if you just put it in one place and don't sort of replicate it somewhere else it does look a bit odd and a bit unbalanced. So I've got my ivory in here as well and then the white I do need to bring white in again because the white is on the card and it would look a bit strange if there was no more white inside there. And then for a little dimension I've added this up on the 3D foam pads and I did mention that at the start. Again then now I need to bring this uh, coral card in. So I have taken the little uh, sentiment die cut. I've done the outside of it in this one, the sort of little uh, area where you would put the colour, the sentiment on. And I'm going to glue that on there and add a little foam pad in here and here just to keep that in place. And I'll probably just move it down a little bit there. So I've cut out the sentiment itself in two colours here. And I am going to just offset that slightly and put it on here. I think it not only does it keep the colours balanced, but it also helps it stand out a little. You can see there what it looks like in the white. Yeah, it's really lovely. And it's really lovely in the silver as well. But I think it looks really really beautiful whenever the two are together so I'm go going to glue those together and pop them there and as I say support this in behind with the 3D foam pads then I wanted to add a little um, you'll see when I come to it what I'm going to do on the inside of the card and I need to replicate that slightly on the front and although I'm going to use these panels I will be using some foliage and berries in there so I wanted to add some of that on here and this is the piece then that I showed you at the beginning and I'm going to add that just up here and that sort of brings all that together. We've got a lot of silver here and a lot here and I want to add that there. 
and then later on when I'm almost finished the card I'm going to add some morning dew crystal drops on there <laughs> I was going to be silly and say if I don't please remind me but of course you can't it'll be too late <laughs> anyway that's where I'm going with that and I'm going to glue all of that together and then come back to do the inside of the card I suppose old habits die hard and while I was making that I was sort of just chit-chatting away and it felt like I was at a demo the way I used to be and um, maybe with a lot of ladies in uh, Dublin or wherever and uh, well that's why I got carried away and thought you could tell me if I put the stuff on in the wrong way but anyhow it is what it is and I'm just talking to myself and hopefully some of you will uh, talk back later on whenever you do hear this but that's the front of the card all finished and except for some little morning dew drops to go on there but I think that turned out really really lovely and now I'm going to go on to the inside but actually I've just had to stop there because a neighbour called at the door and while I'm in chit chat mood I might actually just tell you what's going on here at the moment uh, as I put this on I have had a real big shock out in my craft room in the garage so I've actually got two craft rooms and uh, one of them is a store which is in my garage and the other one is the one that I'm working in here. And I went out a week ago tonight to my craft room in the garage and believe it or not there was a snake, yes a snake, in my garage. It's still there but unfortunately it made its way very very quickly when I tried to catch it. It made its way straight into my craft room. And you can just imagine the mess of my craft room at the moment because uh, everything has had to be removed, boxes and things, and even the uh, stuff has to be taken, the shelves have had to be taken off the walls. I've had a rescue centre has come out. The girls have been absolutely fantastic. They've left all sorts of things. I have learned a whole new lingo, but the snake is still there. So uh, I have windows closed. This window leads straight on to the garage where the snake is and I can't open that and I'm looking here and really really careful about everything I bring into the house and in fact I actually only go out to the garage to my other store whenever the girls from the rescue centre are here and they're not here at the moment so I'm inside making cards for World Card Making Day and hopefully hopefully by the time you see this video that snake has well gone but I just really don't know anymore anyway back to the card Right, we're on the inside and everything's going to mirror what's on the outside of the card. And I've taken a strip which is exactly the same length as this card uh, and it's two centimetres wide. Now obviously yours doesn't have to be exactly the same as this, that's just for guidance. I have folded that in two and then I've folded it back on itself like that. And that way you'll make sure that each part is exactly the same size. No faffing about, no needing to uh, sort of measure it and whatnot. And then... I've got two valley folds and the mountain fold in the centre and I've marked the centre of the card here and here and again because I don't like glue on this now obviously it's most of this is going to be covered but not all so I've put the double sided tape on I might actually just put a little bit of glue there and there and you don't want any glue at all on here so now I am going to lay down this piece right on there and this piece right on there so when I open the card it should look like this everything's enclosed in here but when you open it up there's going to be a piece a piece pop up in the center I've got little matted layers and these are going to get glued on here and one of them is going to stay right there glued to the card and that's the one that I'm going to write or you or anyone who's making this card could write their sentiment on. So that's going to go right there. And then these ones are going to get glued on here and just make sure they're sort of, well not sort of, but perfectly centered. I'm going to just mark the back of them there and glue them on. So these two will be uh, glued flat to the card and the two in the center are only going to get glued across this area here and then I can come back and decorate them but making sure to leave this area here open and plenty of room on it to write. I 
went ahead then and decided that it would be nice to have the little patterned panel in there and all of this obviously then is in keeping with what's in the front so you can see there that um, obviously when you close the card you will keep it like this with these two pieces pointing outwards and this has uh, I've turned one upside down just to mirror the other one so you can see them opposite each other like that and then I've put the large piece of silver foliage down here and I've paper pieced those little berries on and I've taken the same foliage here but coming from the top corner I've added just the bottom section of it and then this leaves me lots of room to write on or to put whatever I want to do on there as well and you can do this with whatever kind of card you like you can do shorter panels here and put it on a square card but I actually think that looks really really nice it's so easy to do and actually the, the longest part was just decorating the front of that which I think was really really worthwhile too it's turned out really well and um, I love those colours together what do you think of that do you like it do you like this um I have made some of these cards before and I've actually covered the back panel as well so rather than put one whole piece and fold it in the centre what I've done is cut a piece that fits on the inside of the card with just a slight little gap around the outside I've uh, glued one onto this side and a separate one onto this side and it makes the card fold open and closed an awful lot easier and obviously then you don't want to make the panels too thick because this one's quite thick enough even whenever you close the card there's still a little bit of dimension there but if you were to add lots more onto that it would be quite thick and you might be right into making a belly band to go around the card then just to keep it closed so thanks very very much for hanging in there thanks for listening thanks for watching um sorry i should say actually too that uh, i live almost um well just outside belfast we don't have snakes here that's a pet snake belonging to someone that's in my garage and um, no one has claimed it and we reckon now that it has either escaped from somebody else's house and they're not going to let on or else maybe they've just let it go but i'll keep you posted anyway maybe some of you have already actually seen it and seen the little quick video that i took at the time i was trying to catch it because I, I know nothing about snakes and I was actually worried in case it was venomous so I took a quick video and posted it there. Anyway back to the card which is the most important thing. Card making is so therapeutic and so relaxing. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do because just lifting a couple of die sets out and getting some really beautiful patterned paper and some patterned dies and, and plain card even as, as I've used here. Do you know you can just let your imagination run away and before you know it, you've forgotten all that's around you you're just engrossed in the moment and enjoying it certainly that's what's happened to me there and what happens to me every time i make a card should i say but there we are i'm going to put the morning dew drops on here and you'll see them wet here but by the time i take the photographs to put at the top of the video you will see uh, these have dried out they're going on sort of cloudy here but they actually dry out clear and they're really really lovely as berries so thanks once again uh, if you have enjoyed it, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and a little comment to let me know what you thought as I go along. Do you like a bit of chit chat? Do you like to know what's going on? Or do you like to just stick totally to the process of the card making? Or just a little bit of both? I don't normally talk so much about the background as I've done today, but there you are. Anyway, my affiliate links to everything that I've used will be down below. Uh, I don't. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but I do get a little commission from that. I actually do believe that there might be a little bundle made up because I've sent in to Tonic the, what I've been using for this. So keep an eye out in the description of this video and there may be a little uh, exclusive deal on a bundle of the things that I've used here. Thank you so, so much and I hope to see you again soon. And in the meantime, happy crafting. Bye bye.